as you gaze into the vastness of space and witness the twinkling dance of billions of stars. Each one seems to raise a silent question that has haunted humanity for generations. Are we alone in the cosmos? For centuries, people have looked upward with wonder. From ancient civilizations mapping constellations to modern astronomers building vast observatories, this question has been at the heart of our exploration. And now, a new tool has given us a window into the unknown unlike any before, the James Webb Space Telescope, humanity's most powerful eye in the sky. This technological marvel acts like a magnifying glass on a cosmic scale. With its ability to peer through dust clouds and analyze faint light from distant stars and planets, it has pushed open a door we only dreamed of entering. For the first time, we can not only spot exoplanets orbiting other suns, but we can begin to decode their atmospheres, their chemistry, and perhaps even the secrets of life itself. Recently, JWST turned its gaze toward a remarkable target, K218b, an enigmatic exoplanet orbiting a dim red dwarf star. What it revealed has sent shockwaves through the scientific community. Initial observations of K218b ignited excitement across the world of astronomy. This planet was no ordinary sphere of rock or gas. It carried whispers of something extraordinary. Signs of water vapor were detected, a possible indicator of habitability. But beyond that, another molecule hinted at something even more profound, one that, on Earth, is tied almost exclusively to life itself. Could this distant world be harboring the very building blocks of biology? Could it be the first solid hint of life beyond Earth? These questions transformed K218b from just another dot in the cosmos into a frontier of scientific wonder. In this video, we'll journey deep into the mysteries of K218b, explore the challenges of studying such a strange world and uncover what its discoveries might mean for the future of our understanding of life in the universe. K218b resides about 120 light years away in the constellation Leo. It is classified as a sub-Neptune, a category of planets larger than Earth but smaller than Neptune. What makes sub-Neptunes particularly intriguing is that they have no direct counterparts in our own solar system. We have rocky planets, and we have gas giants, but nothing in between. K218b, then, is a kind of cosmic hybrid, too massive to be truly Earth-like, but too small to be a typical gas giant. This uniqueness creates a scientific puzzle. When astronomers try to model its interior or predict its surface conditions, they can't simply compare it to Earth, Mars, or Neptune. Instead, they must venture into theoretical territory, creating new categories of planets and exploring what it might mean for such a world to host life. What makes K218b even more compelling is its position within the habitable zone of its star, a cool red dwarf named K218. The habitable zone, often referred to as the Goldilocks zone, is the region around a star where conditions are not too hot and not too cold allowing liquid water to exist under the right atmospheric conditions. But K218b's orbit is very different from Earth's. While Earth orbits its star at one astronomical unit, K218b lies just 0.18 astronomical units from its red dwarf, much closer than Mercury is to our Sun. As a result, a year on K218b lasts only 13 Earth days. At first glance, this might suggest the planet would be baked beyond recognition. Yet, because its star is cooler and less luminous than the Sun, this closeness creates a delicate balance. Instead of being scorched, K218b may have temperatures that allow for liquid water. In fact, it was this very balance that allowed JWST to detect water vapor in its atmosphere, one of the first major clues to its potential habitability. The excitement grew with further discoveries. The telescope revealed the presence of methane and carbon dioxide, two molecules that are important both chemically and biologically. Methane, in particular, is intriguing. 
On Earth, it can be produced through geological processes, but much of it comes from biological activity. Even more interesting is that methane is unstable under stellar radiation. It breaks down quickly. That means if methane is abundant in K218b's atmosphere, something must be replenishing it. But the real headline came with the detection of dimethyl sulfide, DMS, a molecule that on Earth is produced almost exclusively by living organisms, particularly tiny microorganisms dwelling in the oceans. The presence of DMS, if confirmed, could be the strongest hint yet of life beyond Earth. Imagine it. A planet orbiting a faint star, cloaked in a thick atmosphere, its surface hidden from our view, yet in its air may drift the fingerprints of alien biology. Of course, scientists remain cautious. Astronomy is full of surprises, and nature has a way of fooling us. Molecules can sometimes be mimicked by unexpected chemical processes. What seems like biology might turn out to be geology or atmospheric chemistry we don't yet understand. That's why these results remain preliminary and require years of follow-up. Still, the implications are enormous. If DMS or any true biosignature is confirmed, it would mark the first time in history we've detected life beyond Earth. Life that evolved independently in another solar system. It would mean that the universe is not silent and empty, but perhaps teeming with biology in forms we have yet to imagine. K218b also ties into a fascinating new category of planets proposed by astrophysicist Niku Madhusudan, Hycian Worlds. These are water-rich exoplanets enveloped in thick hydrogen atmospheres. Unlike rocky Earth-like planets, Hycian Worlds could be much larger with masses up to 10 times that of Earth. Their atmospheres might trap heat, pushing surface temperatures to around 200 degrees Celsius, far hotter than anything comfortable for humans, but potentially still suitable for microbial life in vast subsurface oceans. What makes Hycean worlds especially intriguing is their potential abundance. Sub-Neptunes are relatively common in the galaxy, and if many of them are Hycean in nature, then life-supporting environments might exist far more frequently than we ever imagined. Instead of looking only for Earth twins, we might discover that life thrives in environments that are stranger, hotter, and wetter than anything we've experienced. Yet, studying these worlds is an incredible challenge. Even with JWST's revolutionary instruments, observing K218b required meticulous planning. Astronomers targeted the planet during the transit event, when K218b passed directly between us and its star. During the transit, a fraction of starlight filters through the planet's atmosphere before reaching us. That light carries with it a hidden code, a spectral fingerprint, revealing which molecules are present. By breaking down the light into its wavelengths, like a prism splitting sunlight into a rainbow, scientists can detect the missing pieces the absorption lines that tell them what gases are swirling in the alien skies. This method, called transmission spectroscopy, has become one of the most powerful tools in exoplanet science. It transforms planets dozens or even hundreds of light years away into subjects of detailed chemical analysis. The results from K218b, gathered over five hours of precise observation, have given us one of the most tantalizing planetary portraits ever drawn. But the story doesn't end there. Red dwarf stars, like K218's host, are known for their volatility. They frequently emit flares and bursts of radiation that can strip atmospheres from nearby planets or make their surfaces inhospitable. This has long cast doubt on whether planets around red dwarfs could sustain life. Yet, K218b seems to defy those expectations. If its atmosphere is intact and its surface holds liquid water, then it proves that even under the harsh glare of a red dwarf, life-supporting environments might exist. And because red dwarfs are the most common type of star in the galaxy, this could mean billions of planets like K218b are scattered across the Milky Way. K218b may not look like Earth, but perhaps that's the point. 
Our search for life should not be limited to familiar templates. Life may thrive in places we once dismissed, hydrogen-shrouded worlds, scorching oceans, or frozen moons. The universe is endlessly creative, and K218b may be one of its masterpieces. Whether or not life exists there, this discovery has already changed the way we think. It pushes us to expand our imaginations, to question our assumptions, and to recognize that the universe is not built solely in Earth's image. One day, perhaps soon, we may confirm that we are not alone. And when that happens, humanity will stand at the threshold of a new era, not just of science, but of philosophy, identity, and destiny. K218b stands as a beacon of possibility, a reminder that the universe is brimming with worlds waiting to be discovered. If water vapor, methane, and dimethyl sulfide are truly there, then this distant planet could represent the first real sign of alien life. Until then, the James Webb Space Telescope will continue its vigil, capturing light that has traveled across unimaginable distances, whispering secrets of worlds we may one day understand. Let me know what you think in the comments. If you enjoyed this exploration, remember to like, share, and subscribe for more journeys into the unknown. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.